This ad is about AT&T's deal on the new iPhone 15 Pro, and it's real, guaranteed. That's not always the case with other ads. The view of a lifetime. Only with a pricey upgrade. Breathe in to find inner peace. Then pay extra to remove the ads. At AT&T, we mean what we say. Learn how to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us with eligible trade-in. Guaranteed. Connecting changes everything. AT&T. See att.com slash iPhone for details about the guaranteed trade-in promo for new and existing customers. Available for a limited time. Terms and restrictions apply. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode... So, I had seen this tweet, and... It was, uh, I think she is a teenager. I, 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 would, I would assume that she was a teenager because I, I think she was overall talking about herself. It's like one of those tweets where it's all like, you know, like they're kind of talking in the third person a little bit, right? So she was overall uh, talking on how I guess like she had asked her manager if she can use the restroom. That was her first mistake right there. You don't ask the manager that you're using the restroom. You tell them, hey. I'm going to the restroom because I have to go. If they tell you that you can't go and it's like, all right, bet that ain't nobody using the restroom when you have to go or when anybody else in this building has to go, nobody can use it. In fact, give me the bathroom key. I'm locking it, making sure ain't nobody using it, putting the door behind the, uh, um, uh, or the chair behind the door and everything else. So yeah, ain't nobody using it, right? But no, so overall, I guess she had asked her manager if she could use the um, bathroom. And I guess the manager has said, no, that's another mistake. You are working at the wrong job because at my old job at the cafe, when we had to go to the bathroom and I've even done it in the middle of like my career right now, content creating. But when you have to go or even at my old job, at my old job, I worked at this cafe in Seattle I would take my apron off because, like, even though I was a cashier, they still had us, like, wearing an apron because, like, we wasn't just doing just cashier stuff. Like, we were helping out cooks. We were doing a bunch of different crap. So we had to wear, like, an apron, you know, to go with our uniform and stuff. And, um, yeah, once when they seen that apron come off or some in some cases we would just spin the apron around because we really had to go, we really had to go, but... You know, like, but with me, I was like, when you seen that apron coming off and I was walking up to either the supervisor, manager, whoever was there, I'm like, hey, I'm going to the restroom real quick. I My thing is this, though. I would at least make sure of it and have the common courtesy to just make sure, like, okay, cafe is cleared out. Like, you know, ain't nobody coming through here. But if, if my thing is this. If I got to go, like, in the middle of rush hour, it's like, fam, I my thing is, is this. I would rather come back see whoever whatever whoever is cashier is up there i would rather see them with a long line than to look at them halfway through like you know uh handling cash and ringing up customers looking at them and being like i just peed on myself or i just pooped on myself do you think somebody really wants to go through something like that like honestly though like i i'm like next time I talked to any of my, like, you know, like, uh, friends I work with. This, I was about to say former employees and things. No, these guys are my friends. I, I'm sorry. I, I just, at times, like, I be hanging out with people, and they to, they don't refer to their, like, you know, work friends as, like, friends. They work, they refer to them as employees and stuff. So I'm like, I just been hanging out with the wrong crowd. My apologies. My apologies to my work friends, my work buddies and stuff. But no, next time I'm going to talk to them and ask them, like, you know, overall, do you, like, what, what would you rather deal with? Would you, would you rather deal with, you know, coming? Because my thing is this, if they had to go to the bathroom, like, because I know people would ask, like, well, what would you do if your uh, employee or your friend or whoever, whatever you want to call them, if they, uh, no, if they had left you with this long line, and that's something that I've said before, it's like, I've worked on both registers before, so, like, the multitasking stuff, I don't mind that, I was, I stayed doing that at that cafe, even though they told me not to, but to make sure that that line is, like, shorter, Oh, I was constantly um, doing that and stuff. So, yeah, and there's been times where it's like I couldn't really do it, and uh, I just had to deal with the long line. There, I'll never forget where the cafe, how it was positioned. So there, so there is the dining part where you had to eat at, right? And then the on the other side, so it did, so then there was this wall. So there was the dining part 
wall and then on the other side of that wall was like the where you would get your food and drinks and whatever the line literally took up pretty much that whole not it didn't get out to the diner part it almost led out to the diner part but and that was my line that was the line for the registers it wasn't even a line for the food so they were just handing out food like crazy and then they were coming up to me and i'm like dang i'm the only cashier i can't remember what uh my what everybody else was doing but eventually somebody did come out and i was like oh my god i'm like thank you but i never got mad at them i never was like upset or anything so i was like man that line was insane i'm like i'm literally looking at the person i'm like that's one thing that uh they know well maybe the first uh you know the the first employee and stuff uh that i had problems i'm pretty sure everybody knows who i'm talking about but um anyways yeah she'll she'll probably be the only one that'll say like yeah me and him we were definitely just employees of each other and stuff we were not work buddies <laughs> but no um but no anyways like but no i i never got mad at any of those guys for that i was like hey look lines get crazy i'm like that's that's literally why we are here okay so i'm like i'm not gonna get mad at you for you know the main reasons why we're here we're we may have um long lines we may have short lines but at the end of the day if you gotta go to the bathroom okay whether it's your bladder or whether it's your pooper either way i do not want you to look at me and be like i just peed or and or pooped on myself because i my thing is this now that i've got into like panic mode and i'm like okay like excuse yourself like why why are you st why did you tell me that information like you could have just walked off i probably would have thought something was weird i'm like hey what's that smell like that smells like did i step in something i'm like nah these are my work shoes i'm like why not what, what what am i smelling right now i'm looking at the floor i'm like who and then i see a trail and it leads up to the cashier or whoever i'm like oh okay so but no, like, I, I think in a situation like that, because I know people probably ask, like, what would I do? I would help. I'm like, hey, look, like, take my apron, you know, like, just wrap it around on the other side or whatever. And yeah, just over, just excuse yourself. Like, you should have just went. I'm, I'm telling you right now, next time, if you if your bladder or pooper starts going crazy, just go. Okay, just, just go. Like, but don't, do not put yourself in a situation where you like now you're gonna look at me and be all like oh my god every time when they when we have a conversation they're gonna think about the time when i use the bathroom on myself and i'm like i'm not gonna judge you on that i'm more so judging you on why you didn't just go i'm like bruh just just go i'm like it's there there ain't no reason for that so but um anyways but no like i never thought that you know getting back to that tweet I never thought it was a thing to ask your manager permission because even when it was the managers up there, like at the registers and stuff, um, I would just tell them like, "Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom and stuff." So I'm and as I'm saying that, I'm taking my apron off, letting them know I am leaving right now. Was it like I was gonna go in there for a super long? Now there has no. Don't get me wrong. There has been times where my stomach was acting a little bit funny and I was in the bathroom a little bit longer than usual. I could not help it. Okay, my there was at times where my stomach was hurting. Okay, and then there was at times where I just needed a mental break. I'm not even afraid to admit that there was at times where I had needed a mental break at work. Okay, so yes, on the toilet, chilling on my phone. I shouldn't have been doing that. Should have been working. Do I regret it? Yes. But at the same time, I needed a mental break. When you're just dealing with bad customer after bad customer, and I know people are going to be all like, you know, well, that's what you signed up for. I didn't even sign up for that job. My mom and sister signed me up for that job. So I wasn't prepared for all that stuff. I wasn't prepared to be dealing with customers literally mad at me for breathing. I'm like, fam, I'm not I'm not cut out for that type of behavior. I'm like, no, you go take that childish act like over there. Don't go, go to McDonald's with that or go make your food at home. But don't come here with that, okay? Like, I think if, if it wasn't just so much like, well, I mean, it, at times it was like a lot of work that was piled up on us and stuff. And then on top of that, it was like, you know, we were, well, I mean, yeah, it was like work was piled up on us, bad customers. Uh, occasionally, I'm not going to say every customer was bad. Like, no, there was customers there where I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about them till this day. You know, just I'm like hoping and wondering if they good and or, you know, if, yeah, if they're good. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm like, you got all that, like, running through your mind and you ain't really cut out for that type of stuff. Like, 
No, yeah, there were at times where I just found myself where I'm like, I, I need a moment because I'm like, I'm I'm most likely, I don't want it to be a situation where I go off in the, um, at this customer and now they think, oh, there's that angry black man we were all talking about. Like, we, we knew it. It's like, oh, Jonathan, go ahead, give me my 10 bucks. I knew he was going to go off on us one day. So, yeah, it was like, I didn't want it to get to that point. So, I was like, you know, that's why I have to say, like, I, I always had remained positive at that job because... I needed my breaks. I needed, you know, I needed my time and stuff. And, um, yeah, I know people are probably all like, well, why did you not just call out? Why did you not just go home or just, you know, take the day off and things? And that was the thing. Like, I'm like, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in, like, taking the day off. There, no, so there was one time, though, where I did take. I think throughout the four years I had worked there, I took, like, one day off for myself. And it kind of seemed like it was a bad look because it was, I think it was the few days or a day prior or whatever i remember so the day that i took off and then and the thing is it was like it was just an odd coincidence like i didn't even mean to take the day off for, for my off you know for my off day to land on this day and things but so anyways i called out just made up some bogus story i was just like, i'm not feeling well overall i was like no i just needed me a mental break and things so i had uh i called out and then um, I think I was just flipping through the channels and stuff and then seeing that and I ended up watching it. But I seen that um, it was the uh, rapper Nipsey Hussle, uh, like it was like his funeral and uh, memorial thing or whatever. And so I was watching that and I was like, and I was just telling them guys probably before, like, you know, like kind of like giving them like a detailed like thing of like, you know, that when that situation happened, when Nipsey Hussle had got killed. So I think like, I don't even know if they were really paying attention to that, but I'm like, if they were, I'm like, I, I'm, I promise you guys, I was not taking the day off uh, to watch his funeral. I just needed to just rest. Okay. I, I just needed a moment. But other than that, like, no, like if I did call out, it was because I was either sick or or it was snowing outside, and, um, yeah, it was just horrible and stuff, so, no, nah, but for, like, and there was, like, I think one time where I did get sick really bad, I don't know what was going on with me, but, um, yeah, I took the day off, I was just like, nah, man, I'm like, I, I need to, need to be home and stuff, I am not feeling well, I'm like, if I try to do anything today, like, at that job, if the, like, that day where I was, like, mad sick, if I would have went, because it honestly, even though that this was like before COVID, it felt like COVID, you know, like it, it, it had that same feel. So it might have been like the flu or there was just some really, really bad cold or something. But anyways, um, but no, like I, if I would have showed up to work in that state. I would have passed out. I, I probably would have been in the hospital. I'm like, because no, that was like that waking up that morning where it's like my body felt so weak. I can barely move. Like I could barely eat, barely do anything. I think I remember I recorded a video of myself playing uh, the first division. Could barely even do that. And I was like, nah, man. I'm like, I am not cut out for today. So yeah, I'm like the thing. And that's just, that's my thing is, is this, right? And overall, like the moral of this podcast episode is that you need to work at jobs where either you are your own boss or you have a boss that's showing you how to be a boss. But if you're working at a job where a boss is like trying to have control over you, like I can understand to it ex- to a certain ex- uh, like extent. I can understand to where it's like you know if it's a a wild employee and you try to have some like control over them for the best of them and things, not to try to just have like some like weird control where it's like you need this power, you need you know no. If it's on some stuff where it's like you truly want the uh, best for them and stuff, then that I can understand. But if you're doing it just so you can have like some clout where it's like you know you. Uh, like, hey, go outside and, you know, throw away those boxers or something that you look at, uh, like some customer and wink at them, like, see that? I got control over them. I promise you I'm calling you out right then and there. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, I, I, I'm busy. I'm like, you can go tear down those boxes outside. I'm like, I'm busy doing something right now. So I'm like, you can do that. I'm, I'm chilling over here and things. And I guarantee and I promise you, I'm looking at that customer and winking that they're like, you, you see that? And I'm like, yeah, it's just, it's stuff like that where I'm like, no, nah, man. Cause I, I remember when the one manager, 
so there was like two managers at the time that we well no there was like three managers but she didn't really like start like coming into play when the one manager had left and stuff she was like the catering manager but she was also like the cafe manager so she was chill though no she she was she was a cool person she was a cool person i remember on their last day it's like one of those employees where it's like you know it, it's like you it, it's like one of them people like them favorite characters on the tv show and then when you see them leave you're like dang man Dang, they was a good character. I'm like, man, that's messed up they leaving. But I'm like, but no, it's like, it's cool that they're going on to bigger and better things. So it's like, that's how I got viewing and stuff. But so anyways, so we had two managers. Um, so originally it was two managers um, that was like really doing the cafe stuff. Well, one, one. And he was the one I had to say. He was showing me how to be a boss. That was some. That's somebody where I'm like, if I wasn't doing the content creating stuff, and I was just going from job to that guy, he was be. He would be my main motivation on how to be a boss. He wasn't on some stuff where it was like he wanted to have control over you. Like he wanted you to just overall be a team player. Like no, he was seriously a dope dude. Like he was. What he was just one of those guys where it's like if you're working with him, because there was a point in time where I remember it was. Just just me and him and i felt comfortable like it was never on some stuff where i'm all like oh my god like i'm not looking forward to today i mean like you know you like yeah because you know like work is gonna be challenging it's like that for everybody but i'm like at least i know it's gonna i'm gonna be in like in a good spot at least i know i'll be around good people and stuff so i'm like i can't even be mad about that and things so nah he was chill like he was one of those guys where he was like he really because no there was uh one employee that had uh um i think i've talked on uh um on them before but it was the uh the mom that had to drop her kid off to school and she couldn't show up for the whole day and i'm like look my mom dropped me off at school every single day when i was in high school never once did she had to call out because of it never once if she called out she called out because she needed a mental day or she was sick but i'm like she never called out because she had to take me to school even my thing is this because every school well all right so this is like detail like all the like my different like ways of going to school and stuff so first um school i ever went to it was like pretty much across town like it was where i went to school it was far from my mom's job so we had to drive so because we had lived in one city we had to drive all the way to seattle okay like it was some distance all right it was definitely some distance by the time when we would come home after like when she gets off of work come picks me up starts heading back home and this like then she gotta go through downtown through everything else and like you know you're going doing all of that by the time we done got home we're like halfway through jeopardy so there was like a good portion of my life i didn't even know that will of fortune had existed i didn't know will of fortune had existed until when we had moved into the house where i'm at now when i was able to walk to school and i was like oh so this is what it feels like getting to school at this time. Well, I'm seeing my house. I well, it's like I I never I had never seen my house in the daytime. Like you know, cause I'm I I see my house at night. Like I'm like or either when the sun was setting. So I'm like, huh, this is what it feels like being home at like three in the afternoon and things. Okay, this is cool. I'm like, hey, my friends are outside. Let me go outside. And, go. and so like that's that's how that was. All right. Then middle school, it was like, you know, uh, never, so I, I walked to school when I was, um, cause I had, cause so I, the first elementary school, I ended up switching schools cause I moved. So the second elementary school, I ended up just only having to walk cause it was down the street. And then my middle school, I caught the bus. High school, got a ride from my mom. So there was never a time when she had to, and that's why I'm like, bro, that, that woman. So anyways, moving on. So the supervisor, um, at the time she had to uh, have surgery so i remember when the the good manager i mean all the managers was good they were good in their own ways just that we had some conflicting issues and stuff but the first manager the manager they hired me on all right so the manager they hired me on i remember he approached me he approached me with authority with authority and he was like you're gonna be the supervisor i'm like well, wait a minute, you're, you're just handing me this? And so it was like a temporary supervisor. It was like an old permanent type stuff and things. Like He was just like, I'm, I'm appointing you supervisor until um, such and such uh, comes back and stuff. Because, uh, you know, it's like just overall, he was like, I trust you. I want you to be a man in charge or the person in charge and things. 
I'm like, I ain't gonna be mad about that. I'm like, hey, if I, you know, that he was somebody where it was like, if he's telling you to pick up your weight, he ain't saying it is like, you know, you're being lazy, but he's all like, hey, like, you know, as a team, it's like, we, you know, we just got to keep, we got to go harder and stuff. So he's like, he ain't saying like, you know, you, you need to pick up your weight. He's saying, hey, it's all like for, you know, for the team's sake, it's like, you, we just going to have to, we as a team, we going to all have to pick up the weight and things. And I'm like, hey, I'm 100% down for that and stuff. So, um, yeah, like, when, then, when, yeah, when that, uh, um, employee, when she came through, then, yeah, she was trying to have some authority, you know, with me and stuff, and I'm like, hey, look, I ain't, like, flat out just tell her, though, like, I'm the temporary supervisor, so you gonna have to listen to me, anytime when she would come up and be all like, no, I'm not doing that, I'm like, that's not, my thing is this, I'm thinking along the lines, like, the first manager, I'm like, how is that helping the both of us right now? When we got like, when we got a line of customers, we got, you know, the condiment table that needs to be filled up. We got like, what, what are some other, we got that honey bottle by the coffee machines that needs to be replaced. Okay, what, what, the salad, or if it's, yeah, at that lunch hour and stuff, like the salad bar needs to be replenished. Wiping down the counters ain't gonna help us right now. So I'm like, we, we gotta think of some stuff where it's like, cause I'm saying, yeah, the counters is gonna be fine. But I'm like, all this extra stuff that we got, we, we gotta tend to that now. That's why it's like, my thing is this. If the counters is really dirty and really messy, alright, cool. You just seen some little dust particles that came from a man's hair plug. No, you wait until after <laughs> when we are closed up and then you clean that man's dust particle, hair plug, dust particle, thingamajigger, whatever you wanna call it. And stuff but i'm like no man i'm like you you gonna have to wait on and then yeah this she'll give me an attitude and the thing is is this i'm all like i don't care <laughs> like <laughs> I, I don't i don't care at all if you're giving me an attitude that's on you fam if you want to be upset be upset but i'm like i'm out here doing my own thing i my thing is this all right you know it's like me being the supervisor so it wasn't like i was gonna try to have like control or power over anybody thing is is this even though he appointed me a supervisor, I still was doing my own thing. And then if he asked me to do something, I did it. I had no problem with it, none whatsoever, because he displayed how a boss should act. And overall, I'm like, my thing is this. you When you see that, you take motivation from that. You take some inspiration be um, behind that and stuff. You know, you look at that and be all like, dang, man. Like, if there's ever a time where I'm like, you know, what content creating really goes good, and then I managed to, like, create a business out of it or out of something else. Like, I guarantee and I promise you, if I am the boss of that business, I'm telling people, I'm like, I'm going to have, like, a painting up of my first um boss. And, by, like, you see this man right here? Like, anytime when I hire in a new employee, I'm like, you see that um that paint right there? I'm like, that is the man that hired me at my um at my technically well second job because youtube was my job i was making money from youtube prior before then and stuff but i'm like that man right there he hired me at this cafe they're gonna be all like mr moss what are you talking about i'm like you don't even know i'm like you didn't listen to podcast episodes did you i'm like man and you call yourself a fan they were like i seen that you was hiring like that's i'm like you did did you i'm like i even asked you that in the email i'm like okay all right you know just go over there put on some stuff and you know just Greet, greet the customers, all right, greet the customers, and, you know, don't, don't just spend the whole day cleaning tables and stuff, I'm like, we, we got down to control and things, but, anyways, uh, but yeah, I just overall think, like, you know, if you gotta ask your boss to use the restroom, like, I like how I, like, it went from, like, that's what I was talking about originally to just some random stuff about my old job, and then back on this, I'm saying, man, my podcast is, it's a weird podcast, but anyways, um, but no, like, if you are at a job like that where you gotta ask your boss to use the restroom, and I feel like that there's gonna be people out there that's all like, oh, well, there shouldn't be no issue with that. You should do that anyways. If that's how your job is set up, it's like, fam, it, it's probably best if you go find yourself another job. If, and, because, like, if they're telling you no, then yeah, go find another job. I'm like, I, because the thing is this, you need to understand, because with that job, with that place, they don't care about you. That's something that I'm just going to say right now. There might be the employees at that place that don't care about you, but if something were to come up, something were to happen you to you, and then you can't work at that place no more, it's like, heaven forbid it's anything crazy, but just overall, like, something happens to you, and you can't work at that uh, place no more, they're just going to replace you. 
it's not like they're gonna just leave that that spot at the um job vacant because of whatever had happened to you and things you're replaceable at that job right so my thing is this it's like if that's how they feel about you it's like fam Go there, make your money, do your thing, work there for as long as if it's your dream job, then make the best out of it. But you need to understand, okay, and hear me and hear me good on this. You need to understand, all right, I'm going to position my microphone to where it's facing more me now. You need to understand that you are more important than any job in this world. I'm going to repeat that for the people in the back. You are more important than than any job in this world so don't let nobody try to tell you oh your job is important you gotta do this you gotta do that if you got a boss that says you gotta do this and you gotta do that if you got one of those type of bosses and then they on some stuff like hey well we gotta do this today we gotta do that and they right there with you you know working and all that stuff building a sweat with you they actually they're doing some stuff like if you ain't got no boss like that then it's like fam quit that job but it's like, if you got a boss like that, then it's like, you know, show that. That boss is showing you that they can be a good boss. You need to show that boss that you're going to be a good employee. That's it's like that's some teamwork type stuff. That's some, like, you know, Shaq and Kobe. Some, like, freaking, uh, what what else? Uh, dude, freaking Jeff and Matt Hardy. Let me think of some other things. Uh, uh, you know, Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch. Batman and Robin type stuff. I have to say that was definitely me and my um boss. We were definitely like, like on some like you know he he was like he would say I would say he was in that position of Batman. And I was like a low budget like Robin and stuff. I was that like Robin. I feel like he would he would be like the good Batman that everybody liked, and then I would be the Robin. Where it's like I didn't really like his vibes. Like I you know I I don't think he would or maybe it bounced some stuff. Like well he he wasn't the same skin color as Robin. I I think that's the the uh, dang if people don't really do if they hire me to be a robin in a batman movie and people really be talking like that i'm like hey you know what i'm like no nah. i'm like sign me up for the next 10 batman and robin movies i'm like i'm doing them all i don't care what it is because i just want to make people upset so <laughs> anyways all right and that being said in this most weird wild podcast episode they had nothing to do well i mean technically it did but it was just i feel like i just needed to just you know drag it on because i haven't really did no long podcast episode like this so i'm like i, I had to i had to people but Anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, Instagram at TMOSBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMOSBoss Fan Page. Also, if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBoss. It will knock $20 off your first purchase. Thank you guys for watching and listening, and peace.